Only Evan Root may not have set out to create the world's most enduring brand of outboard motors. Maybe all he was trying to do that hot summer day on Okachi Lake was impress a girl, his future wife, Bess. But in rowing to the mainland and back in an effort to bring ice cream to their island picnic, Oli's stubborn Norwegian determination gave birth to an idea. One that would forever change the way man moved across the water. The Evan Rood Outboard. Even though the ice cream may have melted, Oli's inventiveness persevered, embodied today in the spirit of the brand we know as Evinrude. It started with a quest for ice cream. It continued with a quest for excellence, creating a legacy of industry firsts. The Alto. Evinrude light twin outboard. They used a compound called linite, which is an aluminum alloy. In those days, innovation was everything. everything. That rough design grew into the 1928 Alto Quad. That would plane a bolt with four people on it. The combining of forces with Stephen Briggs. Steve Briggs came to Oli and said, how would you like to uh, own your own company and be able to use your name again? Surviving the Great Depression. When the Depression hit, Oli stopped taking any money from the company and started putting money back in. Oli had routed the exhaust out through the hub of the propeller. Through the hub exhaust. By putting the exhaust through the hub, the boat went faster. In 1934, they enclosed the entire power head of the engine behind shrouds. Serving the country in time of war. Well, the war changed everything, and during that time, they made storm boat motors. America rebounded, and Evinrude continued to grow. Things that were big innovations in the outboard industry was in the late 40s when they went to a gear shop. I mean, to be able to start an outboard and not have the boat immediately start moving, start moving. was a wonderful thing. The 25 horsepower came out, the first, motor, the first motor to really get water skiing started. It was less than $400. You know, the average guy, he could go out and have some fun on the water with it. From 1958, they took it from 50 to 75 horsepower in two years. The 60s saw unprecedented expansion. Tremendous growth in the industry. We took the boat operator out of the back end of the boat and put him up in the front with a steering wheel. So you could sit in the front of the boat, just as you did in your car, and fire the thing up and run it. And this is when the whole business exploded. Boom. Starflight 3 was used to set a world speed record. 122.979 miles an hour. The company forged new markets. New technologies were developed changing the face of outboard motoring. At that time, the biggest race was something called the Six Hours of Paris. We entered our V6s in that thing, and we won the race for the first time against Mercury. See how they've applied this know-how to the new 1970 Evinrude. That was featured in one of the James Bond movies. The Starflight 4 boat set another record of 131 miles an hour. The fastest man has ever gone in an outboard. 
The 70s and 80s brought more innovation and growth. We also built the Vonkel racing engine, or the four-rotor rotary. Here is an animated look at how a rotary combustion engine works. The outboard lines grew tremendously, now all the way up to 300 horsepower. And it was really the first, what I would call, high-performance outboard. But by the 90s, the Japanese were firmly in place. Ultimately, the company needed to focus on what they think they could do best. Trying to figure out how to make the engine better. And even though Evinrude continued to innovate, the company faced challenges. We had some energy crises. Then came 2000. Evan Root was in danger of disappearing, and Bombardier Recreational Products stepped in, bringing its own heritage of innovation and excellence. This innovation culture is really, really deep in our roots. The Evan Root that emerged was smarter and brighter than ever. The team here were really driven to succeed. The best of Evan Root had been reinvigorated with hard-knuckled engineering and a dedication to quality assurance. E-Tech was introduced and took the boating industry by storm. It's remarkable. We've raked in a ton of innovation awards for it. With the E-Tech technology, we were able to make three-star emissions. E-Tech is the only marine engine ever, ever to receive the EPA's Clean Air Excellence Award. Sometimes the highest tech stuff is the simplest. Now, Evermood celebrates 100 years. A century of fulfilling the hopes and needs of fishermen, skier, and boater alike. We've become part of the boater's life for a century. It's amazing. A new century stretches out ahead, and Evinrude stands ready to meet its challenge. What we have in the plans is definitely very exciting. To continue innovating, refining, and making the best built outboards. And I believe that we're doing the right thing so that 100 years from now, people will still recognize the fingerprint of Oli of 1909 and hopefully the fingerprint of uh, BRB. So that you can spend more time on the water. We're going to keep on innovating as long as the company exists because that's who we are. That is BRP.